the temperatures are rising, the vibes are on top. We're still here at the Morven Peak Hotel at Westlands for the Elevate Child Funders Group All A Gym this week. My name is Eric Nemai and this is Toto on Podcast. And this is the second episode and I'm joined by... I am honored to be joined by a friend of mine here we just met. But we're going to put that in the side. Uh, we just met. Her name is really hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> so I'm going to let her introduce herself in the way she can do best. Hi, Eric. Hi. Mm-hmm. My, <laughs> my name is Tumani Ngwindi. Tumani Ngwindi, yeah. yes. I'm a program officer. I yeah. work for a global organization called Empower, the Emerging Markets Foundation. Yeah. Um, it's based in the US, mm-hmm. and, but I work for the South African region. Yes. Now, I have one quick question. Do you have a short form to your name? No. 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 So you're just going to have to teach me mm-hmm. how to say your name. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so get to that. So how yeah. do I say it? So I say you just clip your tongue, like your tongue, you kind of make a you mm. form it like mm. this. Okay. You say, cool money. Mm. Oh. Cool money. Yeah, mm. you must feel your tongue doing this and you must touch the, the rooftop. Mm-mm money. Yeah. Mm-mm money. Cool money. Mm-mm money. That's not too bad. Some people say cool money, so that's not too bad. I think we can, we can work with that. <laughs> So welcome, yeah. welcome to Kenya. Uh, is this you. your first time in Kenya? Yes, it's my first time in Kenya. Yeah. So excited to be here. Okay. Yes, yeah. So we're just talking about the language. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you finding Swahili right now? I'm finding it so beautiful, but I think I've over abused. I've abused Asante. So everywhere I go, I keep every time. I keep telling him yeah. Asante, Asante, Asante. Yeah. But I'm learn. I'm trying to learn how to say how are you, mm-hmm. and um, that's like seems like a little bit of a tongue I can I can teach me. you that. I can teach you that. But I can also teach you a new word. What word? Right. Yeah. Before yeah. I teach you that, uh-huh. I want you to say Mimi ni bazenga. Mimi ni bazenga. No, no. Okay, okay. Let's start with okay. one word. Let's start uh-huh. with one word. Yeah. Say, Bazenga. Bazenga. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Say bazenga. Bazenga. Say mimi ni bazenga. Mimi ni bazenga. Yes. What does that mean? I'm cool. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, uh, yeah. you've already introduced yourself. My name yeah. is Eric Namai, guys. This is Toto on Podcast. You're hearing all that noise because we are the moving big, moving big hotel. I said we are the ECFG. That noise is really annoying me. <laughs> but uh, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? So, basically, I'm a program officer. And as yeah. I said, I'm based in South Africa. I work for Empower. Actually, recently joined five months ago. But Empower is an organization that has three focus areas, which yeah. is economic well-being, inclusive learning and um, safe healthy lives and we've got gender um, equality as a cross-cutting thing through all the projects we support Mm -hmm. Um, so our programs usually uh, we work as support partners we work with young people between the ages of 10 to 24 Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm here we've been invited by Elevate Group and we're so excited to be here Um, but I manage the meaningful youth engagement component of Empower in South Africa um, because we just believe the organization believes that young people Mm -hmm. are very capable young people should be um, yeah, consulted definitely. for the work that we do right mm-hmm. we yeah. are experts of our own world and we have something to contribute so yeah. basically we work and we create meaningful engagement where we have youth fellows um, mm-hmm. we've got them we're piloting a project um, it started now in February and just finishing next year yeah, in yeah. June where we have four youth fellows uh, who are taking a journey with us they're contributing to our organization yeah um, they're doing capacity building with us we're teaching them about grant making the mm-hmm. about grant making yeah, yeah, and yeah. also just work readiness you know because in South Africa we have a challenge of unemployment um, oh so, yeah I think it's an issue in yeah. like the entire I Africa I mean it's global yeah. it's absolutely global mm-hmm. so like part of our work also um, ensures that our fellows um, do get training in order to be ready for work mm-hmm. and also we um, we have a huge focus on mental health right mm-hmm. yeah. so um, our fellows as well they have been involved in mental health uh, programs in their lives and also we recruited them through our grantee partners yeah um, so yeah, yeah. basically towards the end of our program we expect them to just room other young people in yeah. and then they will implement our projects okay yeah. so uh one quick question that i like asking people is did you always look forward into doing this work like <laughs> when you're a kid well like when i grow up i want to help young people i want to be a part of the people who are making who are giving ourselves a voice yeah and i want to be an ambassador for youth and children did you always want this um i'll be honest with you when i grew up i wanted to be a judge <laughs> Wait, what? No, a whole judge. Judge. i okay. promise you and i think until i was in grade six or something mm-hmm. um because my mom told me if you want money just be a judge and oh, yeah. then i grew up and i was like no mom that's not how it works <laughs> yeah. um but basically i started um being engaged in community engagement since um i think grade eight mm-hmm. um, and i 
my life story is the, is is what brought me to be into this work because I was um, part of the student pr um, program yeah, in South Africa. Yeah. It's a student sponsorship program. They fund that. They take children from public schools into um, into private schools. Yeah, yeah. And that opened up my my you know my. So you were taken to a private school. Yes, I was taken oh, wow. to a private wow, school wow. by by Fanda, and that opened you know my eyes into okay, there is possibility. You know, mm -hmm. I can also achieve a great life through education. Yeah. So um, through that, I started doing community engagement mm -hmm. and. It wasn't. It didn't really feel like community engagement because I'm from the township. You know, I grew oh, yeah. up in the township, so yeah. every time we went back to the township, I was going home, mm -hmm. right, from yeah. my private school. But it wasn't was everyone else. Yeah. It wasn't everyone else. Yeah. But then that's that's how I felt. And felt like um, yeah. I felt in love with the work that we do, mm -hmm. and also I'm very passionate about psychology. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. that's where it really started for me. So since high school. So you you yeah. just talked about psychology right now, yes. and you said uh, in your programs you also. Very big with mental health, yeah, yeah. right? So is that like a personal thing for you? Like, are you are you a mental health advocate yourself, or um, yeah, are you a mental health advocate yourself? Absolutely, I've worked with various um, organizations that support mental health um, because I think mental health is, you know, the stigma towards mental health really yeah. needs to be addressed. Um, but I'm very proud of us as a generation, especially our generation, yeah. right? We young people. I think we're doing a lot to address it compared to what our parents um, understood mental health is. So I think we're doing a lot to debunk stigma and also the work that I'm doing with Empower is really really helpful yeah. because I think the way we trying to we try we don't necessarily find the traditional um, Mm -hmm. We don't find the traditional ways of dealing with mental health, you know, because um, most most people always think of narrative um, of therapy, yeah. like psychotherapy, when they yeah. think of mental health. And not many people are into therapy. Exactly, yeah. not yeah. many people are into therapy. And let me tell you, in one of our um, we've got a report yeah. that was released last year. Uh -huh. It was um, it was in partnership with our grantee partners. And the feedback, some of the youth said, we've got a psychologist coming to our school, but we're talking to the psychologist, and we don't really. Get Connects. We don't connect. We don't yeah. know what this person wants from yeah. us. So, like, there's not much that we're doing. So, in that sense, the work that we do, we try to support organizations that are very innovative, organizations that try to break down mental health, you know, oh, to yeah. make it, you know, an everyday thing. Because we strongly believe um, that mental health is similar to physical health. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mental health is a continuum. It comes like sometimes it's either you are struggling um, or either you are striving. So you try. Um, so it's levels. It. And levels yeah, and levels. Absolutely, it's yeah. levels. So um, every day, I think everyone is trying to, to better their, their mental health. And just like physical health, we know that if you eat well, it's good for your physical sleep health. Well. You sleep well, it's you good. know. So yeah. with mental health, there are mechanisms that people can develop on yeah. an everyday basis because not therapy is not accessible to everyone. Yeah. So let's try to ensure that like what can we find in our daily spaces that can help us um, to improve our mental health. So that's what yeah. our work is about. And uh, let's talk about the two days that you've been here. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> because we've talked about your history yes, and you know yeah. what you've been doing. Mm -hmm. What you looked up to when you was a kid, yeah, and now yeah. you're an adult and you're in this space, you know, mm -hmm. invited by ECFG as uh, a representative of the organization here. And uh, what what has been your experience throughout these days? Yeah. What has been the experience so far? Yeah. Um, I'm glad to be among the young people. <laughs> <laughs> Funny Number thing one. is, we actually yeah. met at lunch, and she was like. I was looking for young people and I was like, oh, young person. <laughs> young person. Yes, that's how I saw it. I was like, yeah. oh, hello, yeah. fellow young person. Um, but I'm really grateful to be in a space where they've tried to bring together young people, the founders, and the local community yeah. to have a conversation. Because I think representation really matters. We can't be working in silos, you know. So I think it's very important that everyone is here and that we're able to identify each other. Yeah. I'm not just talking to young people. I'm also <laughs> talking um, to other founders in the space yeah. and trying to find yeah. as much local people as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you enjoy your work? Um, absolutely enjoying uh -huh. it, yeah. Um, so the, the, the sessions have been really interesting. The plenary has been really interesting. Um, the insights that have been shared, you know. I think I've got key things to take away to yeah. home. Yeah. But I'm also proud of the organization that I work for. I think yeah. Empower is really um, trying their very best to meet the standards within our field. And so it's been really good to see the recommendation yeah. and saying, okay, we're doing some of that. Okay, mm -hmm. and then well, we, the things that we can improve on. Maybe you can big up your organization, you know, the, the name, the social media handles, if you guys yeah, have it. Yeah. yeah. So it's Empower and Instagram mm -hmm. and LinkedIn is also Empower the Emerging mm -hmm. Foundation. Um, Ima so empower, empower the Emerging Foundation? Yes. All the right. Emerging Markets Foundation. Emerging, Sorry, it's okay. Quite a, All right. it's quite a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's quite a mouthful. Yeah. yeah. So, um, guys, 
we've heard from I still can't pronounce it. You could not. You're pretty sure. Umani. That's Umani. Yes. Umani. Yes. All right. Uh-huh. So, uh I want to ask you a personal question because I feel like you've spoken about mental health so passionately. Yeah. Uh What do you see them how do I put this? Uh the mental health for Africans right now. Not even the mental health for Africans, mm-hmm. but therapy. Let's start from therapy. You know, what yes. do you consider therapy? What do you call therapy? Mm-hmm. Because I'm um, I'm I'm a mental health advocate. I've been taught years as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's really saddening to see a lot of people, or a lot of, especially young people, boys especially. Yeah. yeah not really taking care of their mental health, or mm. being when they're grow when they're growing up, they're like being taught that this is a boy, right? This mm. is how a boy is supposed to be. A boy is not supposed to show tears. A boy is not mm. supposed to be weak. A boy is not supposed to do this. Blah blah blah. Yari yari yari. Mm. All of that, yo. And a lot of people don't really realize the impact this makes in the children's lives as they grow up, yeah? And when they grow up, probably they end up in a negative space, and now they're doing bad things, not even necessarily doing bad things, but in a really bad condition. And people are like continuing to tell them that, but they don't know what these people have been through, you know? Like you're still, you're a man, you're not supposed to be weak. You're not supposed to be crying. You're not supposed to share your emotions. You're supposed to be tough, you know? Gangster points <laughs> and all of that. Yeah. So what's your form of therapy or what do you see as therapy? What, so for me, um, I think we're, we're living in such an exciting space, right? Yeah. Because if you look back, we started with just understanding psychology and mm-hmm. it was this weird, um, people took themselves away from the concept of psychology. They also found it quite white, you know, uh, it's not for black people in Libya. Uh, and then yeah. we went through a stage where we were just disco- um, deco- de- construction the constructing this contracting psychology yeah, yeah, yeah. yes and then I feel like we're trying to break it down and trying to bring it to us you know like mm-hmm. what what does it mean to have like to an African person like me and, yeah. you? and then um, you've got the school of community psychology as well and then now I think you and I are at an exciting we're living in an exciting time because we are reconstructing exactly. psychology yeah I think yeah. it's time what it that means to us what it means to us yeah. you know um, what what language do we want to use for, mm-hmm. for you know to describe our own emotions we are able to talk about our not entirely able but we there are conversations happening and i think that's very important because i think our parents didn't get a chance you know to speak a lot but we are creating spaces you know the organization is trying to create spaces and i think that that makes it interesting and exciting for us then to try and develop something for ourselves and for future generations so for me therapy i think um psychotherapy is very important (laughs) (laughs) i find psychotherapy very important you know um Psychologists are needed in the world, mm-hmm. you know, they're yeah. a necessity, you know. Um, but I also think that the Just way like food. <laughs> you know they are really yeah. um, they're really important I don't want us to think just because we're trying to find other mechanisms of coping you know with our life stresses that we're saying the psychologists are not important they're trained to do the work they do yeah. they're necessary they've got skill on how yeah. to treat you know mental health disorders um, but what I found important um, to be my form of mental health yeah. is to identify um, tools within my own life mm-hmm. you know um, connections mm-hmm. in my life I find them very important for yeah. good mental to have positive um, connections and finding ways on how do I create my own resi- my own resilience, you know, <laughs> through the things that I go through in my life. How do I try to find a way to move forward? Mm-hmm. And also just um, realizing that having being flexible on my thinking, you know, because yeah. these are tools that. They're, they're in it, they're in me. Someone else cannot just hand them to me, but yeah. they can teach me, mm-hmm. you know. And also just trying to exercise a lot. We always say exercise. Yeah, try, yeah. You, try you to do exercise. a lot of exercise. Try to eat well. Yeah. Um, so these are things that we often overlook, mm-hmm. but they're very important for our mental health, you know. Yeah. And I think what's been the most exciting thing within our space is that I'm finding youth, youth are creating their own, you know, little spaces. Yeah. Their yeah. own, um, even if it's in schools, their own clubs, and where they can talk mm-hmm. and share their own experiences and that's where the actual work is taking place mm-hmm. um that's the actual work um the importance of you know wow. of addressing it yeah you yeah. know i think you should have taken that job of being a job a, a lawyer uh, not a lawyer a, a judge. judge yeah <laughs> <laughs> because no, your yeah. judgment was good right there uh, thank you thank, <laughs> thank you so, so much for being a part thank of the podcast thank you for having me yeah? it's such uh-huh. a pleasure to be here i'm still learning your name wait 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 wait, wait. don't say it don't say it so I, I did make a promise as we started the podcast and yeah. I'm gonna teach you how to say how are you uh-huh. all right uh-huh. and uh, the people at home will be my witness that I'm not lying to you okay, okay? yeah yeah Habariako. Why am I saying it like that? Habariyako. Habariyako. Yes. Habariyako. Yes. Okay. Or mambo. 
um mambo yeah. yes, I've had um mambo <laughs> I've had mambo Oh yeah that is yeah, a yeah. No there's other people but I think I've heard it Ah uh, okay yeah. mambo habari yako uh, okay. Niaje mm-hmm. you can say Niaje yes. or yes. mimi ni bazenga oh. mimi bazu bazu oh, right. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a part right. of the podcast so guys That me. was Mtumani <laughs> <laughs> I said correctly right now right That was Mtumani we're still here at the moving pick guys it's for ECFG Elevate Child Funders Group Yeah, the AGM is happening the whole week. Therefore, please make sure to follow us on our social media platforms at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ntoto News at Toto on Podcast. We are coming right back with another episode. Bye-bye. That's your camera. Oh, bye. <laughs>